Marimo has a feature that allows you to start a full notebook from scratch using just a prompt. And this feature just got an upgrade. Instead of just sending a prompt, you can now also attach a data set or a file in general. And the exciting thing about this is that it means that you can actually get your first analysis done in the notebook by just uploading a file together with a prompt. The first version of this feature is live on Molab right now, so let me show it to you. When you log in, you should see something new. You're going to notice that there is now a generate with AI button over here. And when you click it, you're able to add a prompt and a file. And from here, we can generate an entire notebook around the file that you've uploaded. So you can automate some analyses this way, but you can also have a little bit of fun. So as an example, I've got a fun CSV file over here. You can see that I've got a Python project and a dependency, and this allows you to build the big graph of all the Python packages and all the different dependencies. I'm going to upload this. There we go. I can see dependencies.csv file listed here, and now I can give it a prompt. So I'm going to ask it to figure out which Python project is the most dependent upon in the entire ecosystem. And I also want it to be mindful that it should include dependence of dependence. That feels good. I've got my uploaded file. Let's hit generate notebook. And there we go. It generated a notebook. It's using pandas and it's also using network X. And when I scroll down here, I can see that it's making a digraph that is looping over all these dependencies. It's counting the number of nodes and edges. And when I go even further, it calculated all the total dependence. And if I have a quick look, it seems that six is the Python project that has the most dependence out of all of them. And that makes sense. Six is a compatibility library between Python two and three. And I can definitely imagine how that would have a huge influence on this data set. We're not doing anything with download numbers. It's just number of packages. So, OK, that makes sense. When I scroll down, I can even see it made a little bit of markdown. So that's also great. But the main thing that's really cool here is that I only had to upload a single CSV file and add a prompt. And this is already a great starting point for a analysis. And it's very little effort. Not to mention the fact that this notebook is now also saved in my environment. So I can also continue from here. I can also use the AI chat feature on the side here if I wanted to continue further. But one thing that's also really good about this feature is that you're not limited to just CSV files. What I've now done is I've uploaded an image of myself and I've also used one of these example prompts that you could start with. And here I'm asking it to create a low rank approximation of the provided image using SVD. Let's see how this goes. And here's the notebook. One thing for good measure, by the way, you can explore the file system over here and you can actually see the file that I uploaded, this epic.jpg file that's definitely there. And it's looking like it's made a full app. So I'm just going to go into app mode and I can see that if I change the slider around, that yeah, I do get a different approximation. For high numbers, both images look almost the same. And for low numbers, you can see that indeed it does get garbled up a little bit, but that's of course because of the compression. So there you go. If you have a file that you want to analyze in some way and you have a prompt, then that is all you need to get your first notebook started using Molab. It's a new feature. We're pretty excited about it. The feature is a little bit experimental because it's new, but so far I have found it to be extremely productive, but also very fun. Simply because the barrier to entry with regards to, oh, I have an idea, can I try it out real quick? That is now much lower because you can just initialize a notebook like that. If you want to dive deeper, I've added relevant links in the description of this video. And also, if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will get back to them soon enough. Thanks for listening.